Hey everyone, and now we're gonna be talking about a brand new family in organic chemistry, and this family is called the family of alcohols. And the family of alcohols, like alkanes and alkenes, form homologous series. So if we start to just let's write this together. So alcohols form a homologous series. And this series is noted by this formula CnH2n plus 1 OH. Now, the alcohols are famous for their OH bond or the hydroxyl group. So, the hydroxyl group. Now, they are famous also for their suffix OL, like methanol and ethanol, and so on and so forth. We're going to get into the naming of alcohols right now. So let's talk about the naming of alcohols. So the naming. So, like all families, they have members, and those members depend on the number of carbons present. And using the formula, the smallest member in this family is n equals 1, and let's do this using the formula. So, C1H3OH. And this is the formula of methanol. And why did we call it methanol? Well, because the prefix meth is indicating that we have one carbon and the all indicates that it's an alcohol since it has the OH bond. Now what if we want to draw this? Well, we're gonna have a C right there and an H, another H and a third H and then we have the OH bond. Now, let's look at another member of the family, which is the second member. So, the second member, using the formula together, let's do this. If we want to pause the video and do it yourself, go ahead, it's going to be useful. So, C2H5OH. And how do we name that? So, we have two carbons, so therefore, when we're going to call it an eth. And since it's an alcohol, it has an OH, so it's ethanol. Now, how do we draw ethanol? Well, we have two carbons, and then we have five hydrogens bonded to them. So three right there, two here, and an OH. Now, let's move on to the third member. And the third member can be a bit tricky. So... Now, member number three, and member number three has three carbons, so let's do this again. So, C3H7OH. Now, how do we name this? Since we have three carbons and it's an alcohol, so it's propanol. So, propanol. But, propanol has three carbons. Let's see how do we draw this. So we have three carbons right there and we have seven hydrogens. But you're going to ask yourself this question. Where do we place the OH bond? Now for the previous two members, like member number one, we only have one carbon so we don't have much of a choice. The second member of the family has two carbons but here's the first carbon, the second carbon. We can reverse the order and it won't matter. But for the third member, he has three carbons. So it does matter where you place your OH. Now, what if I tell you it's prop one all? So, so prop one all. So that means that the OH is placed on the first carbon. So let's number our carbons. So this is the first, the second, and the third. So that means the OH must be right there and the rest are hydrogens. Now what if it what if I tell you it's prop propen 
true of. Well, now it means that your OH is on the second carbon. So this is how you draw prop propan to all. So that's it for naming alcohols. The fourth member can be also tricky. You can try that yourself. And as we said, for homologous series, there are series that have the same chemical properties but different chemical but different physical properties, excuse me guys. So these three members of the family differ in their boiling point. For example, methanol has a boiling point of 65 degrees Celsius, while ethanol has a boiling point of 78 degrees Celsius. See how the boiling point increases? And finally, propanol has an 87 degrees Celsius of a boiling point. So as the structure expands, as the it goes bigger and bigger, the boiling point rises. So let's talk about some of the uses of ethanol. So let's talk about uses of ethanol. And ethanol is the second member of the family and it has the formula C2H5OH. Now, we only have to know three things about ethanol. Well, ethanol is found in your medication or it's found as a solution in treating open wounds and stuff like that. So, let's write this. So, ethanol is found in meds. Now, the second thing we also find ethanol in is their use in alcoholic drinks. And also, the third thing you guys need to know is since ethanol is very volatile, meaning it evaporates very easily, then it can be used in glues, aftershaves, and perfumes. So these are three uses of ethanol. I might add a bonus one. So the fourth one, this is an extra one, is that it's a very good solvent. But it does not dissolve in water. So that's it for the uses of ethanol. So let's recap. In this video we talked about the family of alcohols and we said that the family of alcohols form a homologous series using this formula right there CnH2n plus 1 OH and they're famous for the hydroxyl group OH and while naming alcohols we put the suffix OL. Now we talked about the naming of three different members of the family and we did them right there and finally we talked about some of the uses of ethanol and we said three different uses in everyday life and we added the bonus one that's a chemical kind of use so that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about how do we make ethanol and the reactions of ethanol. So stay tuned and good luck.